So I'm having some issues with the town car. This alternator won't come down. And this is like the third time in the last three weeks that I've seen high voltage codes. And this alternator keeps bringing the voltage from 14.5 back up to almost 15 volts. So I called Napa up and I got a brand new premium alternator. This is a 135 amp, three prong, red post on top. About 06, I think, is when they went to the 135 amp from the 130. And some people see the post on top and they kind of get freaked out by it, but that's normal for these cars. And the three pin instead of a two pin alternator. So I'm gonna swap that over and I'm actually gonna add a ground cable in from the post over to the battery for extra protection because these motors have an issue with electrolysis and this, this will actually keep some of the electrolysis in the coolant and stuff down. And um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's have at it and let's get it done. So I pulled the plastic cover off. It's just a quarter inch drive, popped right off and then slid that right off the front. Wiggled my wires and stuff around a little bit just to kind of check and make sure it wasn't a bad connection. It's not a bad connection. Um, tested the battery, the battery's good. So that wasn't the problem. My cranking was good, everything checked out with that. It all keeps coming back to either wiring, the control wire from the PCM to the alternator or the alternator itself. So uh, the easiest way for me to do this right now would be just pull the alternator and put a new one on and see what changes because I already have it sitting right here. I mean, it's in the box. It's a warranted part anyway. It was changed a year ago and it's already acting up and these are known to act up. So yeah, I'm gonna pull the alternator real quick. All right, I just popped a series of 10 mil bolts right off the bracket, and then I took a 3H drive ratchet, pulled my belt off. Okay, push tab on the back of the three pin wire. Gonna check for corrosion and stuff. I don't see anything. Everything looks pretty good overall. You don't have to pull those bottom 13 millimeter bolts out right there. But I'm actually going to clean the ground contact where it goes to the block. I'm going to clean all that up because it's part of how it grounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the new alternator. You see I got the alternator contact points right there. Where? 13 mil bolts. Go ahead and slide those back in. And then... You know what, I'm actually gonna slide one in and leave one out because I'm gonna put the ground wire that I'm gonna add to it to the outside of the alternator. So you can see here how I've added this ground cable. And so you know exactly what it is. This is a, the part number is DW440B and it's a 40 inch switch to starter uh, battery cable except I'm using it from alternator to battery Here I've got everything kind of lined back up nothing's tightened down now I'm gonna go ahead and snug up my mount bolts to the front of the block and then I'm gonna put my tighten my 10 millimeter bolts to the top of the alternator All right, so the alternators installed and I made sure I plugged the connector back in you could fish it back up underneath there and connect it I brought my power wire from the battery up and then um, I ran the ground up back this way and then through the hump of the valve cover behind the what would be the uh, chain sprocket and then back down the side around the battery case so it's not like super super obvious where it's at and then I ran it to the side post of the negative terminal so now what we do is start it up and check the charging voltage compared to the other one I think if you add like a if you buy the right Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> so you see the voltage now, it's normal voltage. Um, when I first hooked it up um, with the, the other alternator installed, this was reading 13.09 volts. It turned the lights off and it went down to about two point or 12.9. So as it sat, static charge was released from it. It's down to 12.7 now. So now I'm gonna fire it up and uh, let's actually see what we get.
So it's at 14.4. It's come down a little bit. Um, it was up to 14.9, 15 volts at one point. Everything seems to be um, working fine now. So now what I'm gonna do is drive it and see what happens. See if this high voltage code comes back. I may have a bad uh, PCM because the PCM is what helps control the regulator. It's what turns it on and off. So um, the PCM, actually I wanna get one actually want to get a PCM with a lifetime warranty. That's going to be one of my next things. I'm going to order it out of New York. I think it's like 225 bucks. They send you a PCM lifetime warranty. If it ever goes out, it gets replaced. And then you just have to reprogram your two keys to it. So that's going to be one of my next upgrades to this thing is to actually put in a, a newer built PCM with a lifetime warranty for this car. Okay. Um, everything has been reinstalled. It actually has come down a little bit more. It was down to like 14.15. So it's doing what it's supposed to do now. I just need to drive it now to see if I keep getting these high voltage codes, these high voltage spikes. It's almost as if the, the regulator internally is going bad. And it was actually making a little bit of noise when you first started up and, and then it would go away. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to change this. That's why I have my stethoscope out is um, when I actually start the vehicle up, start listening to all the pulleys to hear where the sound's coming from. It was coming from right in the front of the case of the alternator. So that was another reason why I wanted to change it. It could have been a front bearing failing, even though you can spin it and you don't hear it. It could just be something inside the alternator itself that, that was malfunctioning. I even took like a rubber mallet, just tapped it to see if anything, I could hear anything jar or change um, and nothing changed. So um, we're gonna run it and we're gonna see, but that's how you change the alternator in these vehicles.